But what to my wondering eyes should appear? Hey folks, <clears throat> Brad here for Weez and Geezer TV. Weez and Geezer TV is brought to you by nobody. I don't have any sponsors. I don't have enough subscribers. That's where you come in. Today, I'm going to be passing on to you some of the most important information that you might find in Rust Electricity, except it's not going to be one of those multi-phase deals like I did here. I'm talking about simple electricity. This video is for those people who haven't delved into it yet because it's just way over their head. I'm going to show you a routine um, that is so simple that I could write it out in chat. And if you just followed what I told you to do, it's real simple. You could have lights in your base. Now here is the kicker. This is set up, a setup for only lights in your base at night. Because this entire setup will be dependent on battery power. And if that's okay with you, if you say, okay, here's what you need. See these components that I got down here in the bottom? I tried to point to them. That ain't going to work, is it? You're going to need one of each of those, basically, and a light as many lights as you want now there's two ways to set it up uh, if you have one solar panel it's a different setup but if you have two solar panels you can have you can light up a stadium every night two solar panels every night you can have 50 lights running all night long on two solar panels crazy old man huh I got some other stuff for you some other stuff that you're not going to catch in other videos. Other stuff that you're going to be steered wrong. I'm going to tell you right now, there's things I'm going to tell you right now that defies your, your logic. You're just going to say no way. But I'm going to show you some stuff. But anyway, let me just get right to the, to the crux of this biscuit. Because see, I, I did a video on what it is that I'm doing, which is not this. This is my earlier project I'm showing you. Because this stuff can be complicated or it can be real easy I can show you how to do something similar to this but without all the fancy gadgets and me directing power here and there and doing all kinds of crazy stuff I'm gonna show you how you can do it in your house not this but my simple setup so easily that I like to say I could I could write it in chat and I'll show you that setup right now. Okay. Look at that. Does that look simple or what? Because it is. 
And you're going to notice as you look down this wall that I have that exact same setup all the way down the wall. This setup is the exact same setup, but it's for a small battery. And that's if you have one solar panel. That's the way you're going to have to hook it up. Now you don't have to follow the lines the way I did. It's just that I tried to draw it so that you can follow the lines. So that if you were to just draw this out and write down a gray one, blue one, switch, battery, light, solar panel. You could write those things down and I could just tell you this plugs into this, this plugs into that, this plugs into this, and that's all there is to it. The only setup that is slightly different is when you get into wind power. You notice we don't have this switch at all anymore. I think it's kind of a, it, we call it gray. We're going to go with gray because green is that, uh, that memory thing. But this is your setup for wind power. Guess who? Did we get him in the window? Probably not. Nope, he sounded close though. Sorry. Um, so anyway, over the last few days I was doing a test. And I started out with uh, <clears throat> solar panels. One solar panel there, one solar panel here. The idea was to see if one solar panel, if set to recharge only, could power a large battery enough so that you could have lights at night, all night long. Now I expected it to fail, and it did. Next we had two solar panels, three solar panels, four solar panels, wind power. And surprisingly, Excuse me. Surprisingly, uh, this one made it all the way through the night. Now, I want to. I want you to understand one thing. If you set this up like right now, if I were to set this up, boom, 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 and we put a brand new battery down there on the ground, it's going to have two minutes charge in it. When I did all these, I made sure they were always all completely discharged. But uh, they're going to need a full day to charge. So like if you did it right now, it's like 11 something. It's not going to get charged enough for this to give you power all night tonight. You're going to get power for most of the night if I were to have hook it up right now. But after the next day, one full day, as long as you didn't touch the power, didn't come over and play with the switch. Hey, look what I can do. Hey! As long as you didn't do that, you know, for any length of time. It will have enough power in it to run your lights all night long. And I'm not talking about one light. Okay? I'm talking up to 50 lights. On two solar panels. Every day. With this setup. Now, what I've done is, I've modified this with a second solar panel, which should give me 19, or actually uh, 40, yeah. 40 minus 1. And I'll show you. Uh, that's two solar panels. Doesn't matter because we're not running that off of that. We're running off the battery, which is huge. So there, we're, we're running off. This is energy off of two solar panels. Actually, this battery doesn't have enough juice for this. I just hooked it. it it's, it's been dead because it was the, uh, the one with one solar panel. It is better if I had shown you this on the other one. But let me just go show you. Two solar panels will power up to 50 lights. There's a couple of them in there because I actually have more than 50 lights down here. I guess I had 52, or it's, you know, 53 probably, uh, 51 probably down there, and one up here, so it's 50 lights. Okay. But that's with two solar panels, which actually, after uh, I did the put these in last night, yesterday afternoon, probably a little earlier than this, so it's probably been more than a full day now, a real full day in, in our world. And, you know, it has one hour and 11 minutes. Now, you might think, that's not very long. Well, they only have a four-hour charge. But here's the thing. Nighttime, at least on my server, 
is only about 10 and a half to 11 minutes long maximum and then power comes back on or you know the, the lights go out and stuff um, so all that needs is 11 minutes it's got an hour and 11 minutes and that's after charging after one day so consider that in the length of a wipe you're gonna be well over the four hours it's just gonna be sitting there and that's on two solar panels and you can have your lights running after the first full day of charging 50 lights all night long and they'll go off automatically in the morning now you don't need 50 lights or do you I think I'm right in here though so are you interested a, a, a setup that simple can run that many lights all night long as long as you don't allocate any power to anything else. And I'm going to actually do the whole setup for you. Explain the whole thing. What this is. I'm going to tear this one apart and redo it. The only thing I'm not going to do is take um, one of these off the wall. Because it's got the power coming in. And I don't want to go through all that again. Or I could. Uh, but I'm going to go on to the second part of this. Before I go into that. And this is huge important. Don't even underestimate this because it may change your way of thinking. Okay, my example will be up here on the roof. Now you're gonna notice that all of my solar panels all face one direction and down there they're all facing one direction except for this one down here which was for an experiment. There are some up on that roof over there that do not. And uh, boy, the windmills are just down to nothing, huh? We're not getting any wind power. But, there's a reason for that. Now, right now, we got the sun coming up here in the east, and it sets in the west. Let me see what kind of power we got here in the south. South has a five. Let's go over and check the west. Fifteen in the west. That's pretty good, actually. This is huge power for the west. Twenty there. 20 here but here's 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 the thing uh, it's because of the time of day okay if you check this at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock you would find that this would be at 20 trust me I've already got the, the, the paperwork to prove it because I've sat here and tested this all day long this would be at 20 as a matter of fact I can tell you right now that uh, uh, this setup is north, south, east, and west. The, the, uh, <clears throat> the reason I was doing the test is because I was going to explain to people that were doing their <clears throat> setup kind of at an angle, teepee looking or something. And uh, you got them facing east and west. You are so wrong. And I'm going to explain why. Now. On this setup, I am going north, south, east, and west. I'm actually surprised we're getting something in the south. Normally, we don't. Normally, it's zero. Yesterday, I found it at three, and today, it's at, at six. Coming from the south, but it's because of time of day. Now, because it's coming from the east, you automatically expect this to be topped out, and it is. This one's getting full light, it's topped out, and it is. I really wasn't expecting it much here, but it, it, it's, this starts getting power as it's coming past noon. And as you can see, 1240 down there. Okay. Now, at 745 this morning, uh, the east hit at 15. That's when the sun first came peeking up over the top. East hit immediately at 15. North immediately hit at 6. Uh, within 30 seconds, north was at 12, and east was at 20. All other sides were still at zero. Within probably two seconds, uh, north was up to 18 versus 20, and did reach a full 20 within uh, less than a minute. And the thing is, in the afternoon... West is going to start getting more power. East is going to get less power. 
Uh, towards a little more in this afternoon, uh, west will be at full power at 20, east will be at zero, south will be at zero, and north will still be at 20. Because north catches sunlight all day long and is the longest running power source all day long. And here's why. Now, uh, I, I, I was trying to move them out. But originally, my thought was, and this is wrong, but this wasn't originally my thought. I thought that the sun passed across the center like this was an equator and this was our world. Uh, but then I tested that and I was wrong because I have a base over here and a base over here and I came here and ran across all the way up to here and I still looked up there and the sun was still coming from the north. Now, the sun comes up in the east and sets in the west. But from where I'm at, it's coming from the north. It's coming from the northeast to the north to the northwest. The sun is hitting my solar panels and so it catches light for a lot longer than the solar panels directly facing east and gets as much power as that within less than one minute and stays that way so much longer because it, it lasts until the sun goes down so two solar panels facing north beats two solar panels, or one solar panel facing east and one facing west, any day. And that's just the way that rust electricity works and the way sunlight works in rust. Ooh, we got us a balloon here. Very nice. But I'm going to show you something else that, um, real quick, if I can find one. Um, and that is that uh, shade, like you can see how some of this is shaded out. Uh, I'll tell you right now, these could be in direct shade, absolute direct shade. As long as they're facing north, they're still going to have 20. doesn't matter. I did an example earlier, but I didn't have any sound, where these over here were completely shaded out it was earlier in the day or something. But it doesn't matter. They were designed so that that would matter, and then they ch must have changed it or something. Because even casting your own shadow on it was meant to like almost render them powerless. But these can be in absolute, complete shade. As long as they're facing north, outside, they will still get the light. Let's go do the build real quick. Uh, I'm not going to take everything off of the wall because I, I have a. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not going to take this off of the wall. It is hooked up to two solar panels, hooked up to one combiner. So you take solar panel, hook them to the back end of each combiner. Combiner has one line coming out brought in through the wall, comes down here and goes in the bottom of the branch. It's an electrical branch. Goes in the bottom, there's only one slot. Okay. Now in more confusing um, systems, um, you have to configure a bunch of things and stuff. This one is so simple, it's right out of the box. You don't got to do nothing but set these in place and run the wires. But I'll explain to you anyway. If you went to configure this, you'd hit E, but you don't need to do this. Don't have to do nothing. It's configured for two. Okay, now we got a lot more power than that coming out of it into it. But two. The two, when you're configuring it, is for the branch side. It has two sides, branch and power. The branch side, now it doesn't matter, this is actually power also, but we're only allocating two units of power. And we're not actually doing it. it this is the way it comes stock out of the box. So it's like you put this on the wall, put that on the wall, put that on the wall, put that on the floor, put a light up there, a couple solar panels, and a combiner, and you just run the wires. You're done. 
So, I'm going to unhook some of this stuff. Because I can. Yeah, that's going to turn that on. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and unhook that. We're going to unhook that. We're going to unhook that. Uh, the only thing I want to keep is this one. Because, as I said, there are two solar panels up there with a combiner, which is the red one. The two solar panels go into the bottom of the, the red one, out of the front, come through the wall, down here to the, the electrical branch. Okay. And we'll say that I stuck a light up here, and I set this on the floor. Right now it's hooked up to nothing. Okay. What we want to do is <clears throat> those two units of power are going to be used for we only need one of them we used to be able to configure this for one but it seems that I can't change that it's at the default of two which is fine we can throw in the switch just for shits and giggles if you don't have one if you don't have one this line is gonna come up come over and go into that side of the of the blue one it's that simple and what you're doing there is we are setting this up so that when this loses power tonight, when there is no more solar pa solar power, when it loses power, it will release the power to this blocker. What's happening is the power we have coming in is one unit or two units of power, but it only needs to be one. Because there's power coming in here, a block power that's coming in through here, passing through. Okay, It's like putting a, a little switch in there to, to block this. And so now we're not losing any power. That's what that does. We have two units of electricity, basically, for that. But it only takes one. So we can put in this switch if you have it. It's more fun that way. But you don't need it. Like I say, you just put it inside of the blocker. And we're going to bring this over, down, and plunge it into that thing. From there, we're going to come out of there, because it has to give it instruction, basically. And the switch is going to say, hey, light switch, or hey, blue blocker thing. Uh, it's okay to let power through. And that's when you turn on the switch and your and your lights come on. Because you're saying, hey, it's okay if I let power through. So I can show my friends, hey, look what I can do. Pretty simple, huh? We had uh, two solar panels into a combiner coming down here. It's already configured. You don't have to do nothing. Just run the wire over there if you have a switch just so you can turn on the switch or if you don't have a switch and all you have is these two things you can just call them two things you don't even have to know it's a blocker and an electrical branch just pop that one up there from the left side bring it over here put it in there okay but it's funner with the switch so uh we're gonna say we already have the light there just because we do so we're just gonna put this in there so that it it's out of our way. Come on, give me some power in. So we're just going to have that hooked up there so that it's out of our dang way. Our power is going to come from a battery. When you first hook it up, it's going to have two minutes worth of, uh, of juice. Right now this one has five because it's built up through the day. But it is not enough to sustain it on one solar panel, but on two it is. Now this first day it's going to need a full day's charge. But, like I said, this... this uh, electrical branch here which we don't configure because we just use the power there everything else comes out of this side so it doesn't matter if you have 200,000 putting two over there and the rest of it comes out of here Every, this whole setup is designed so that it all runs on battery power so this all there's no configuring anything all of it goes to recharge Every ounce of energy just goes to recharge. This goes to your end on your battery. So now, those solar panels are coming down here. Two units of power coming over here. One gets used here. One gets used there. Everything it goes into uses at least one unit of power. So you're losing power as it goes along in order to run each, each unit. Now, we got power coming into the battery. These know what they're supposed to do. We just don't have anything coming in. So we're going to have power coming out from the battery. We're just going to pop that off to the side a little bit. So it's not confusing. 
and that is right in there. So we're gonna pull it to about there, pop it to the wall. It's gonna be a little crooked, who cares? Now we got that hooked up. Now, immediately, you got power. Because you're gonna have two minutes on your battery when you first put it down there, okay? Uh, but don't plug anything into it, uh, it into anything until you're uh, ready to do this. I mean, the only thing a battery plugs into is a blocker. Anything else will draw power and your battery will be dead. You go, Why is my battery dead? Because well, you put it in one of these. Or you tried to put two of them together with combiners. It won't work. The only thing it can go into is a blocker. The bottom of a blocker. And then you have power coming out. So, after one full day's charge, like real days, you'll have over an hour. But after one full day of charging in game, you will have probably about 13 hours, or 12 or 13 hours, and you only need uh, 12 or 13 minutes, I mean. 12 or 13 minutes, and you're only going to need 10 and every day it will get to be more because this is uh, I don't know how many days in game but one real day and as you can see I only need 10 or 11 minutes at night that's the whole setup I mean that's all it is and I can walk you through that in chat you know plug your two solar panels into the back of the red thing Take the front end, uh, plug the front end of the red thing, bring it into your house for power, plug it into the gray thing, and the bottom. Plus, it won't come in, won't allow you to plug it into the top ones anyway. Okay. Now, on the right side of that gray one, run that over to the bottom of that switch thing. Now, if you don't have it, I say run it over to the side of that blue thing. Either one of them is, is the blocker. I run the top of the blue thing to your light. Okay, now that gray thing that we have a line coming out of, there's only one spot left. Come out of there, run that to your battery. Now run your battery to the bottom of that blue thing. Wait 24 hours of game time. Not real time, game time. Enjoy your lights. Because every night, when the uh, this line loses power, it's going to send a, it's going to lose the signal here, and power is going to come through from your battery. Every night, your lights are going to come automatic. Boom! I just turned the switch, but it's going to come on every night automatically, and you can run these all night long on two solar panels. Two solar panels, one combiner one electrical branch one blocker switch just because you can but you don't need this a light and a battery and you don't configure nothing you just plug them in the way I told you to take that take take and draw a picture of that you're done you're welcome I just got tired of people having seen in chat that, that it's too confusing for them and um, it can be made real simple and it doesn't matter if you have like I say two three four five solar panels 20 solar panels you can do it this way you can also do it so you divert other power to do other things when you learn how to but if you're just looking for I want lights in my house as simple as possible can you beat that? Because again, you you want them only at night. You can hook up a solar panel just straight to a bulb. But you know what? You don't need lights during the day. And when that solar panel goes out, so does your light. It's got to be hooked up to a battery somehow. Anyway, that is going to be my video. I think there's some important information in there. If there's something in there that helped you, Please like or subscribe, man, I'd appreciate that. Till then, I guess the Batman is out there. We'll see you in the next one.